channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So first of all, just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, just simply click on the task number one. First of all, what you do, we have to just navigate to the cloud bucket. So just simply come back over here and just simply search for the bucket over here. Open this thing new tab, come back over here. And I will recommend you please open each and every services in new tab. It will be very helpful for you. Now just simply click on this bucket name. Now here you can see both these files, so just simply download both the files. And it's done. Okay. Now what you do, you have to just may come back over here and from here you can see this URL. So just may open this URL in incognito window and make sure that when you are opening this URL, you have to log in with your student credential, not your personal credentials or not your quick lab credentials. You can see student credentials over here. Okay. Now what you do, just may click over here new and then just may click on this new folder. Now for the folder name, scroll down and from here you can see this name. Do not copy this last full stop, otherwise you will face an error. So just simply paste the name over here, click on this create button. Wait for a second and folder is created. Now just simply double click over here and now inside this folder you have to just simply upload both the files. And it's done. Now here you can see this doc file over here, so just simply double click over here. Now on the doc file, we have to do couple of changes. So first of all, for the name, come back from the point number seven, you can see this name. So just me copy this name and replace over here like this. Okay, scroll down and from this date, so just me copy this date carefully. Just me search over here. Okay, now we have to just me replace this date with this one. So just me copy this. Now if you are using a windows machine, so just simply press Control, Shift and V. And if you are using a Mac, so just simply press Command, Shift and V. Before that, just simply select this date and press that thing, like this way. And you are done with this part. Now if you just simply scroll down, now just simply open this calendar URL in incognito window, like this way. Now here, we have to just simply create one event. Click on this got it, click on this create. Okay. Click on this create, then click on this new event and now for the title, scroll a little bit and from here you can see this title. So just me copy this title carefully and paste over here and then just me click on this save and it's done. Now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number one, you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately don't worry it's just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score if you have followed the instruction which i mentioned in this video now task number two is very easy first of all copy this agent builder name if you want you can just be complete and close all this tab now just me open agent builder in new tab click on the checkbox and then just me click on this continue And it's done. Now just me click on the settings. Okay, now here you can see global. Click on this edit button. And from here just me choose Google identity. And then just me click on the save. And it changes. Now if we just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number two, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated immediately, it might happen sometime. Don't worry. Just simply wait or you can continue with the task number three also. Now what you do, click on this data store here. Now on the task number two, we have to create two data store. First one is for the Google Drive and second one is for the Google Calendar. So just me click on this create. Scroll down a little bit and from here you can see Google Drive. Click on this select button. Now make sure that you have to just me choose all options and then just me click on this continue. Now for the name, scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this Google Drive name. So just me copy this name and paste over here and then just me click on this create button. So you are done with this part over here. Now we have to just me repeat same thing for the Google Calendar. So just me copy this name carefully, Google Calendar. Come back, click on this create. Scroll down and from here you can see Google Calendar, click on the select, paste the name over here and then just let me click on this create button over here. And that's the thing you have to do to get a full score on the task number 3. So if you just scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number 3, you will get a score 
without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately don't worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a score now task number four is little bit tricky so i will request you please pay attention first of all just me click on this apps click on this create apps now here you can see enterprises search just me click on this create now for the application name scroll down a little bit and from here you can see this is the application name copy that and replace over here now for the company name copy this company name and paste over here like this way now here you can see search plus assistant just me choose this option in select tire and then just me click on this continue from here just me choose all the checkbox and then just me click on this create so you are done with all this portion now what you do you have to just me click on the check button over here for the task number four you will get a score without any issue if the score is not updated immediately don't worry just me wait now continue with the task number five let me again click on the check my progress and this time i got a score now just me open this thing in new tab come back over here click on this get started now for the app name scroll down a little bit and from here you can see application name so just me copy this name and paste over here from here just me choose this student id and then just me click on this next from here just me choose internal click on this next now for the email address copy this username and paste over here click on this next i agree continue and create so you have done with this part over here now what you do just me copy this name carefully copy this okay come back over here click on this create auth client from here just me choose web application now for the web name just me paste this name now just me scroll down over here and from here you can see authorize redirect url click on this add url now for the url just me copy this name and paste over here and now just me scroll down and click on this create button so you are done with the task number five as well if you just me scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score for sure now task number six is very easy okay again let me just me click on the check my progress okay so it's not updating the score don't worry about that now task number six is very easy first of all if you want you can just open this thing in new tab and just me check your api is enabled or not but there are the high chances that your google cloud calendar api is enabled you can see it's enabled now okay now what you do first of all we have to just me go to the agent builder and from here what you do you have to just me click on this add action for that just me copy this calendar action name copy this name carefully come back over here click on this actions over here then click on this add action now make sure that for the action name you have to just me click on this calendar and then just me click on this connect okay now for the name now just me paste this name called calendar underscore action last time what i did i have made the mistake instead of that name i have made this i have paste this particular name and i am not able to get a full score so don't repeat this kind of mistakes now for the new client id and secret id just me come back to this tab okay now if you just me click on this download button over here and from here you can see client id and secrets so just me copy this come back and paste over here now for the secret copy this come back and paste over here that's the thing you have to do click on the checkbox and then just me click on this finish setup just me wait And it's done now if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for the last task you will get a score over here for sure and if the score is not updated immediately don't worry just may wait and you will get a full score over here for sure and as you can see it's done and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a great day guys